Hello everybody, uh, so this is Dooley. In this video we will talk about how to share data between threads. Uh, in the past two videos uh, uh, we've done this using objects and static variables. But in this video we will talk about how to use uh, anonymous delegates and lambda expressions uh, to pass, uh, not really pass, but share data between the parent thread and uh, create a thread. And the way we're going to do this is using thread start delegate. At thread start, when you pass a, 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 a function to a thread, uh, the way it represents that function is by using this delegate. It's a thread start. So uh, let me show this to you for example. So if you were starting a thread, uh, th is new thread. Okay, and the way you start it is by passing a function here. Okay, this function within that thread object is represented as a thread star delegate. So what we're going to do is uh, create a thread star delegate. And that's, uh, let's call it print, okay, because all it's going to do is print something, okay, and all we're going to do here is create an anonymous uh, uh, function. And uh, the way you do that is by doing this right here, okay, and what do we want to do? We want to increment that local variable. and and one thing uh, I need to mention is when you pass in uh, 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 an anonymous delegate or a lambda expression, whatever local variable uh, it's accessing, uh, uh, they are passed in as fields to the thread object. So that means uh, uh, you have access to them and you can modify and, and read them and so on. So Let's go ahead and increment this count here. Okay, this is pretty much uh, the same thing as we've been doing before. We increment the count and then we we'll print we we'll print which thread is uh, using uh, is accessing that uh, variable and then you know we show that information. So right line. Okay, well, let's capture the name of the thread that, uh, that's calling this function. Thread, that current thread, that name. Okay, so we get the name. Now let's do some uh, string interpolation here. Okay, I am a and then the name is count. Okay. All right. So we have the the threads are delegate defined as an anonymous function. So now let's start the thread with it. Okay. Let's give that thread a name. Uh, we want the capitalized one. And let's call it child. We want to. Okay, now let's start the thread. And let's join it to make sure the main thread waits. And then let's call that same anonymous function. In the main thread, we actually need the parentheses this time. Well, let's call this and see what happens. So what we expect is to have one and two where the child access the thread first and then the parent access, it, access that variable the second time. So this is how you would uh, share a local variable this time, not a static variable or 
some 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 field of an object but this time a local variable you can use uh, an anonymous function or uh, a lambda expression but uh, we need to define it as a thread start delegate because that's what the thread is expecting that's how the thread represents this function as so that's what we did here we defined it uh, as a thread start delegate and then we passed it to the child thread we created and we do the same thing as we've done and uh, uh, as we expected both thread have access to the same variable all right so this was this video uh, please subscribe if you'd like to know when these videos are coming up um, go ahead and 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 like the videos if you want to and if you have questions just uh, go ahead and ask me all right i'll see you next time